Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to another Thursday episode, solo Thursday episodes, as we know by now I'm sure. Man, it's Ilkeston today, uh, or as the locals call it, Ilson. Don't ask, um, I don't get it, but you know, local dialect and all that, plenty of local dialects all around. Uh, attempting to hit 23 on my original list, might turn into 24, 25 or 26, depending on how quickly I'm getting on and whether I just have a shot in some of the ones I've done before already. There's five new ones on me today that I've never done before. So that should be that should be an interesting one. I always like doing new ones, even on towns when I go back to. So that should be uh, a bit of an interesting part of my day, at least. Love the orchestra when we come before. It's a nice, fun, friendly little town. Uh, there's plenty here as well, like literally loads. I'm starting at the very, very far end. Uh, and as you can see, somehow the rain has stopped. It has been bucketing it down for the last God knows how many hours. Uh, and just as we sort of got into Ilkeston, the rain stops. I spoke too soon last week. I'm sure I'll get wet at some point today, but thus far, so far, so good. And my first pub of the day is mightily big. Look at that. Never been here before. The Mallard. So that's stop number one of my day. Let's get on with it. Let's see how we get on. Mallard up first. Good place to start. It's a new one on me. I've not been in here before, but uh, it's, it's really warm, friendly, welcoming, family friendly, dog friendly, pool table, carvery that runs on a Thursday. Funny I hadn't eaten, eh? A Thursday and a Sunday every week now. So that's uh, plenty of big screens and stuff. So Paul Taylor, plenty of big screens and stuff all around. All around the pub. Good old neck oil on, but I have gone, I have gone with a Guinness to start with in here. Atlantic pile on a hand pole. That's a new one on me, I've not seen that. That's good. Lovely, big old, big old pub. Lovely staff, lovely landlady. This is the landlady, Bonnie, give us a wave. Yeah, there we go. Good place to start. Uh, wouldn't let me pay for me, uh, me, me Guinness, would have been £2.55 for a half, but yeah, nice place to start. On we go, on to pub two. What a lovely friendly bunch uh, they are in the Mallard, very nice to meet them, uh, very pleased to have ticked that one off. Uh, my second stop is another one that's new on me, so it's the third stop today, so it's nice to be seeing a little bit of Ilkeston that I hadn't seen before. When I get to the town, obviously I know most of it, uh, I really enjoyed it, so I am really looking forward to being back down there. Uh, so yeah, Mallard, top notch, really friendly, really good way of starting my day off. Head down the, the sort of the major road towards the town centre, you come to uh, this. It's a beautiful old looking pub, this, isn't it? Rutland Cottage is its name. What's on? Quiz every Wednesday. I'm no good at quizzes. I only know football questions, and that's about it. But yeah, lovely old, uh, lovely old uh, fascia and stuff on this. Nice old windows. Good sized beer garden, it looks up here as well. The, uh, the Mallard had a great sized beer garden and things on it as well. So that was nice to say. Stop number two, Rutland Cottage. Let's go and see what this is all about. Pub, lovely pub. You can feel this. This is an old pub. It's not compromised on its, uh, its layer or style or anything like that, though. It's got lovely little oh, lovely local fire going in here, which makes it nice and warm. But a decent old, uh, decent old selection of things on here, look. Plenty of stuff to choose from. I love little bars that are laid out like this. Got some good quality. So they've got the neck oil again. That's obviously a popular thing at this end. But yeah, lovely sort of layout on this uh, on this pub. And look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Dining dining area. And stuff like that. Absolutely stunning this pub. Absolutely gorgeous little place. And a great way to uh, rack up number two. Uh, two pounds thirty for half a Guinness in it. I'm on the uh, I'm on a march on a pub three. Another another top notch. Uh, pub Rutland Cottages. Uh, Guy that we didn't come out and do them last time, so we have to stop somewhere sometimes when we do the towns where we don't venture quite to the furthest points of the town. But I'm really glad so far today that I am. Speaking of which, so coming back, it's sort of a, a parallel running road, kind of. Uh, have been down this road before, but again, didn't make it quite as far. So I start number three is the Trumpet Inn. So I'm heading that way down towards the town. Um, Sue's so Kitchen and things over there, Chinese, plenty of stuff going on. Some new flats and stuff. Looks like there's a uh, Decent enough amount of stuff around here to, uh, to keep some of these going. There was another pub just down this way called the Glass Pillar, which uh, I've just come past, that's now shut down. We did do that one last time, and I can't, I'm massively surprised that it shut down. It did look like it was struggling quite a lot, but uh, never been in the trumpet. So that's stop number three, trumpet, looking forward to it. Here we go. So yeah, trumpet was suggested to me. Again, lovely, lovely bit of banter going in here. Lovely, lovely few locals and things like that. Uh, uh, apparently this, this, uh, this takes a hammer in at weekends. Big old screen TV and stuff. Oh dear, here you are, see, not everybody wants, not everybody wants to avoid me camera. Let's have a look at what we've got on here. So we've got some, uh, we've got some bits on. Got a Moretti pub, which I like. Nice old friendly, uh, nice friendly place. It's a good old place, that I say. It's a good old, uh, a good old way of me finding out the locals. It's looking at me now, she's waving away, she's waving away, it's looking at me now. 
So it's always it's always nice to, to sort of get around and meet the local people and things because this these are the heart and soul of a pub, aren't they? The people that drink in there are the heart and soul of a pub. So it's nice to get in there and meet people that I would never get the chance to talk to normally. So Ilka says it was just a friend. This I remember, well happy with it. All good so far. Uh, Arthur Moretti in here, two pound forty five. Not too bad. Keep me taste buds going. On we move. Uh, yeah, Trumpet again, that's, that's definitely a locals pub. Uh, but as you, you can see, can't you, from the video, how friendly everybody is and how nice the atmosphere and stuff is in there. The landlady's obviously got the respect of her locals, her regulars. They look after her, she looks after them. And that's your bread and butter in pubs these days, and I love that. I really do love that. So, uh, Jukery's Club, I couldn't find a Facebook page for this. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it today, didn't know it was open. Someone said it's open. things. So, this is going to be my fourth stop of the day. Duke uh, nice friendly place, social club type feel to it from what I remember last time. But yeah, you know me, there's no point in, uh, in going past an open pub, is there? So Duker is going to be stopped for. Decent enough stuff on the bottom. Good older choice of stuff in it. Same again on. About two thirds, thank you. Nice. Pool table, friendly. I remember, I remember. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely, thank you. I've uh, gone for a vodka and diet coke in here because my taste buds throughout the day, you know what they're going to be like. Gone for that. They were three pounds, three pounds. Three pounds for a vodka and Diet Coke. I might stay in here all day. See how the day goes. Still just friendly as I remember it, uh, the Duker is being. So yeah, glad that I decided to, well, managed to find the opening hours out and stopped in. R roughly a five minute walk then will bring you to my fifth stop of the day. So you sort of walk through the houses. Uh, and this one is dead centre. I'm sort of in a, a residential street where obviously you've got plenty of footfall for all these houses and things like that. Plenty of uh, people coming past. And this one is called Little Acorn. So this is stop number, we, we did this one last time. Liked it, happy to be back. Stop number five. Really glad to be back in here. Just just nice, just again, just nice friendly people. So it is it is what it is. It is more of a social club sort of layout, but it's, it's really friendly people. Like the layout and stuff in here, because you've got this nice central bar. You've got this nice central bar, Cruz Campo on. Hey, give us a wave, that's it, that's always a wave, isn't it? Carling black fruits and stuff on around this side. Got a pool table and a further room at the back, jukebox. What could you want? So there's just here and stuff as well. Party, this place always brings the party to the weekends from what I hear. So glad to be back. Stop five in the bag. On we go. Out we go to the, uh, apparently I've got to find some uh, cheese cobs out of the next one. It's going to be interesting. That brings me along now to probably my furthest sort of travel uh, of the rest of the day. So I'm, I'm near the town now. The little walk up from here into the town centre really isn't too bad from now on, so I, I shouldn't have too much to do. The rain is still holding off as well, I'm pleased to report, which is good. Dewdrop. So, a little bit of conflicting information on the outside. Just on this uh, this board here, it says, uh, independent pub selling the finest beers, wines inside. It's built in 1874. Camera, heritage pub and good beer guide. Then we walk slightly along to the next board, and it says, built in 1884, uh, as the Middleton Hotel. So definitely the former Middleton Hotel building. It was made or built in 1874 or 1884. I'm not too sure because the conflicting information. But I absolutely loved it in here last time. The uh, the beer selection in here is amazing. And I said, all I keep hearing about is the Dew Drops cheese and onion cob. So let's go in and see if we can find out what that's all about. The beer selection in here, like I said, is second to none. So I've gone for a, a half in here of Golden Eagle from Brew York. So some of the uh, some of the craft beers I've got in here are wicked. So Tiny Rebel. It's almost nice to see a Tiny Rebel on the taps as well. Obviously the, uh, the old neck oil. There's plenty of the, uh, the real ale selection and stuff. It's a really quirky little layout, this. That's what I remember last time. You come through, so you can see obviously it's an old hotel building. Really nice. Separate sort of room, seating area into that sort of side in there. And then through into another seating area. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can find out about these cheese and onion cobs. This was £2.10 as well for a half. Golden Eagle, very cheap, very nice. Love through York anyway. Oh, well, it's still not raining, but it's fresh out here now. But luckily, I uh, I do walk quite fast, so uh, it's only taking me about ten minutes to get up from the dew drop. Then to my next love a good micro pub. Actually, no, stand and cask. Now this was a micro pub called something else last time I came, and it closed down. So it's lovely to be able to see this building put back to good use as a micro pub, the way it should be. It's got a really good reputation. One of my buddies, Scott, who does micro pub adventures, check him out on Facebook. He was here not long ago uh, and gave it a glowing review. I've not been in, so it's another new one on the crawl. That'll be four so far today out of seven, which is damn good considering I thought I'd done all the Bilkiston. Um, and at least at least another two more uh, new ones on the other side of the town as well today. So, well, looking forward to this. Uh, love a good micro pub. Let's see what we've got to offer in the stand and cask. 
So it was the Ilson Tap. That's what it was called. I don't remember it being Ilson Tap and stuff. Now, obviously, now to stand up in here. So look, look at this little face as well. Look, look at this little face. What's your name? Mm, hello. And you, sweet. Dogs are sure, aren't sure of me, and I'm, I, I understand why. Thanks, sweetheart. I understand why. But look, so rotating, constant rotating real ales and stuff in here. Normally from local breweries, but they do go further afield sometimes. They do lager as well. They do lager. So it's a micro pub that does lager. Sometimes people miss all that. But uh, give us a wave, landlord. Hey see? Hey, see? It's nice in here. Uh, darts and stuff on there. What day? Tuesday. Tuesdays is the darts league and stuff down here. It is a really wicked, lovely, vibrant little place. I have gone for... One of these, High Blue Monkey Brewery. See, I am drinking your beers and it is very, very good. But yeah, lovely, friendly, vibrant little place this. At the bottom of the, t you come sort of down to the bottom of the hill, away from the town and you'll, and you'll find this. So it did sit empty for a little while. It looks great in here. It's definitely well worth the trick downtown. <laughs> Whatever you want in here, it, they cater for everybody. And I like that. Micro pubs are the way forward. And this one, certainly venturing in the right direction. I've also got another one over in Orsworth, so. I'll be heading over all through then. Report back on that. Loving this. Let's crack on with the day. Whew. Until I've just walked up a slight incline. I, don't know. I mean, it's a hill to me, but it just feels like a. Yeah. That's a hill. I mean, it's not. It's a slight incline, yeah. But you know. Anyway, it's probably the amount I drink. Love the standing cast. They are lovely top, uh, top people. Um, <laughs> really good selection. I love the fact they've got local breweries on there. Magpie, Lenton Lane. Always rotating what they have on the stuff in there, the four real hours and, and everything. But yeah, they, um, they're definitely heading in the right direction with that. It's a top idea. And it is only, it's only a few minutes walk down from the town, so it isn't far to go to. So do go and support Stan and Cast. Go and check that one out if you haven't checked that out already. So that was stop seven. This is going to be stop eight, right behind me. Cocktail bar. Coffee bar, it says, but uh, it's only do craft cocktails, all sorts of other things called... So this is going to be stop number eight. Then I'm going to go and find a Durham Ops, which is not on my list either, because they probably will be open by now as well. So I might as well keep adding to my list, might I? So uh, Mad Dog's up next. Absolutely loved this little place last time. It's, it's a dog friendly sort of, it's, it's, so it's a coffee bar, cafe, but it's also a cocktail bar at night, and I love that. It's got a great set of things and stuff up on that, on that thing up there. But at least, it's what I like as well. So for a, a sort of a coffee bar, and, and, and craft beer sort of thing, that's a, that's a good little selection to have on a bar that is. Lovely little place, so it's not, not very big. That is the full extent of it. Wake up, hug, drink coffee. I mean, I wake up, hug, and have a beer, but you know. Lovely little gaff, this. Very smart, very well, well presented. Loved it last time, love it this time. Half an old moot to uh, cleanse me palate in here. Uh, and then we're gonna go off to the Durham Ox, which we weren't gonna do. But now it's gone five o'clock, we are gonna do. And it's just, you know, cracking on, cracking on. Such a well presented little place, that is. Coffee by day, cocktails by night. Little bit, little bit of decent, decent beers and stuff on. Lovely service. Uh, I even got offered a, Homemade sausage roll in there. Obviously I'm on a mission. I can't be eating while I'm cheating. Uh, so, uh, I was gonna miss this one out because it didn't open till five. And I said to myself when I planned this route, there's no way I'll still be down that end of the town at five o'clock. It's 20 to six now. I need to stop talking, don't I? I need to stop gas bagging with people when I'm in parts. But I am glad that I'm here. Because look, this is a really beautiful old building. It's more of a restaurant type. It's more of a food led pub, I'd say, restaurant side to it, than it is an actual pub. But while I'm here, there's, there's no point in missing it out because I think I'm going to try and do the entire Ilkeston run. So it's called the Durham Ox. Beautiful old building. Staff in here last time we were really friendly, so I'm going to go in. I'm just going to have a quick shot or something in there, I think, just so I can include it. Get it in. Um, I might, no, I'll have a vodka and coke or something quick. Dead quick, then get on. Durham Ox up next then. So this is stop nine. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't miss it, could I? Because it's such a beautiful old pub building anyway. It's the restaurant, it's the, the way they set the tables and stuff out is beautiful. Lovely fire and stuff going. Cut the real hours on. There is a third pump, but cut the real hours on. Decent selection of stuff on here as well, but it's just, look at them, it's just a beautifully well-kept, well-maintained. I said it is more of a, a food-led restaurant type pub than it is a pub pub, but yeah, I've had a, had a single vodka and dark coke. Pepsi Max, Pepsi Max, I love Pepsi Max. So I will try and uh, do this quick, because I don't need to try and catch up on myself. I keep adding stuff, I'm behind already and I keep adding stuff, but you know, can't miss it out. Love this place, the food smells amazing. Everybody keeps raving about the food as well, so I'm definitely gonna have to come back here and eat at some point, aren't I? Because everybody does tell me how good the food is. And honestly, I can't believe how busy it is already, because it's not even six o'clock yet, and there's, there's at least five, six tables eating. I'm gonna have to come back and try the food, but yeah, I love this, glad to include it. Durham Ox, top him. This darkness starts to set in upon me. Actually, it looks a lot lighter on this than it does in real life, because uh, it's actually getting pretty dark. It's only six o'clock though, so that's still not bad. 
Uh, right, two minutes up through the town, a little tiny detour off the Fullwood Street uh, brings you Spring Cottage. Uh, friendly, from what I can remember, locals, again, locals type pub just on the outskirts. The houses around here are perhaps a bit bigger than some of the ones down the ends that I was at earlier. But we are literally right at the, the bottom of the town, so it's going to be up into the town from here. Spring Cottage is actually now stopped 10, should have been stopped 8. I'm at least an hour behind, but you know. Let's crack on. I might just have a shot. I've got to just have a shot in one of these and I'll try and catch some time up. Spring Cottage next. So I've stepped in here and I've got, I've got categorically told I've stepped in here at the wrong time because Tony's here. What, when was the last time you come out? Uh, November. Not been out since November. Come to support the pub because she knew I was coming. She needs to get a life. She needs to get out more. You need to get out more, girl. You need to get out more, girl. Like, don't come somewhere because I'm coming. It ain't, it ain't, it's, that definitely had a recommendation for anybody. Don't come out because I'm coming. But yeah, what a, a top soul of the earth people do. Like friendly, innit? You can watch all the sport in here. Decent old selection on the bars and stuff. Got a pool table down here. Big screens, darts. Got a darts tournament coming up, things like that on a Saturday. On a Saturday, they do karaoke in here. They've got another room. I'm coming, I'm coming down here. Like, I'm, now being, I'm now being shown around. Like, we've got another room around here. Like, Got another room. Right, she's right. If you if you want to entertain somewhere, like a little quiet space, you got an, a, another little room. You need a, you need a bonus from these guys, don't you? Top bonus. Yeah, don't don't leave it. Don't leave it three months till you come out next time. Got the pub from my home. Uh, so stop ten down. Uh, I think I think my day is probably going to now consist of twenty six. So I'm on I'm on stop ten. Probably got twenty six to go. I've had a, I've had a quick shot in here. So onwards and upwards or onwards. Anyway, we'll see. I've made it up to the town, uh, the town park, the market square. It's just up here. Where it is? Beautiful church in Ilkeston again, in the centre. But yeah, the Market Square area is just there. It's a little area. Absolutely loved this one last time again. This had a real party atmosphere going on somewhere here, the Harrow. So that is my next port of call. Uh, obviously got spoons and stuff over there. There's a couple of Green Kings or something. Or is it, there's a Green King or something else. Plenty to do in this uh, this little Market Square area. I'm at least an hour behind. Tony was fun, wasn't she? So, you know, what a lovely, what a lovely lass. Again, lovely people. Loving what I'm doing so far. Uh, Harrow's up next. This is stop 11. I reckon we're probably going to end up in 26. So we're not even halfway through yet. Madness, this it? Madness. Why do I do it to myself? So friendly, friendly as hell in here, like like it was last time. And uh, so uh, I've been I've been I've been mugged off like a kipper in here though. So uh, I was told I was told we should definitely try this because you'll never find it anywhere else. Called Rude Boy, Rude Boy. I can say that Rude Boy. Uh, and it has, it's seven percent. I hope you can see that on the video. Seven percent. This uh, you can read it. So I'm going to read it to you. Premium vodka drink with horny goat weed. It's actually quite nice to be fair. It tastes a little bit like a vodka and rebel. It's actually quite. It's not too bad, but yeah, I loved it in the last time. This, this sort of this is this is one of the ones on the town that really sort of brings a big old DJ setup and stuff in here. You've got a good old uh, selection. You're not going to find real owls in it, but it's not a real owl type pub, so it doesn't need them. It's that uh, red stripe on tap. I love a bit of that. If I wasn't on my rude boy, I would have had a red stripe. But you know. I'm on my rude boy for the night now, I'm taking it with me. Like we're going, we're going pool table and stuff in. Good, good, good old bunch of folks. Give him a wave. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Good old bunch of, good old bunch. Right, he served me one of the best pina coladas as well that I have ever had in my life. Yeah. And now he's sat here on the other side of the bar, not serving anybody a pina colada. No use to me whatsoever. But you know. So we're moving on. I'm going to finish my rude boy and I'm going to get on with the rest of the square. Bottoms up. Well, that, um, that rude boy was different. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but yeah. I've never seen that before in my life, um, but yeah, uh, uh, top top place that with uh, nice people, nice people, and a good uh, a good vibe going on. Right, so it's now stop twelve, the observatory. This must put me about halfway through, I'd say. It's the Weatherspoons. It's a very modern looking Weatherspoons on the corner. On to onto the observatory for the next stop, and we'll go from there. See where we go. Not much else to to really film in there. It's a, it's a modern day spoons. I've stuck a photo of the carpet up on. Uh, <laughs> On the page, so you can see what the carpet looks like. Yeah, modern, modern feeling sort of spoons. There were a lot of people eating in there, so I didn't think it was necessarily right to to go sort of wandering around my camera. So just across the square, as I said, and you've seen when I've when I've shown you with spoons, I've shown you a million spoons. So I'm straight across Market Square a bit and to the Market Inn, which is a very tall standing. Uh, Shakers is part of their business as well. It's obviously not open at this time, but me yeah, market in the old school uh, historic boozer. This one in the town centre. There's a craft union and a green king on the square here as well. So market in is going to be stop number twelve of the day. Got myself a neck on there. I love it. I love I love Beaver Town Brewery in general, but it's, it's, always, it's nice to see some other stuff on. But neck or yeah, I'm alright with neck or two uh, two twenty. So not bad at all. Guinness, Madry, 
Yeah. Right, second one, second one I've seen red stripe on in the uh, in the next thing. That's a decent, uh, decent yeah. meat. It's an old boozer, so it's an old boozer. Jukebox and stuff, yeah. old corridors uh, and bits going. <laughs> Proper old school boozer and stuff like that. But yeah, it's decent, decent puppets. And James, James and Rutter, he's just, he just, he's just reminded me that last time we come in here, he it, it just described it as like the TARDIS, and it really is because you've got this massively historic boozer at the front. So much history, so much stuff going on at the front. And it's just, it's just, you, you walk in, you're like, oh my God, I've got history in here. And you come out the back, beautiful, like, dance club. They have dance events and stuff on in there and, and stuff as well. But there's this massive, like, nightclub at the back. I remember us being in here last time because Holly had a, um, their wings that are on the wall. But yeah, this, this is sort of all things to all men. So great little old historic boozer at the front, big dance club and stuff that goes really hard at weekends and stuff on the back. Great little place, this. I, mean, I love Ilkeston, and it, it, this just reminds me why, because you always find a little bit of something for everyone. And yeah, I totally forgot what a great back room this place had. I have just walked into something, I don't even know what I have walked into, but since we've been at the, I've come back to the front, and I've been told about a drink, the world famous cotton bomb. Here, look at him, look at him. I don't even know what's in this and that one here, but look, there's a thing over here, thing over here in the corner called Cotton's Corner. Look at this, look. Cotton's Corner. And that is Mr. World famous drink called the cotton bomb. Now, I, I don't even know where this has sprung from, but you know me, I'm going for a laugh, uh, so I'm about to have a cotton bomb. So uh, we'll see what this entails. World famous apparently. Right, so this is the world famous cotton bomb. I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to down in one, yeah? Down in one? Yeah, down in one. Bombs up. You know what? Oh, there's, there's the Sambuca. Woo! That's not half bad to be honest. So after that cotton bomb, my, uh, my spidey senses are tingling. Uh, and I would say that's probably a Jaeger bomb with a Sambuca on the top of it. So that was a new one on me. Um, yeah, honestly, that's not the worst thing I've ever drunk. And I would probably, uh, I'd probably have another one. <sighs> I'm not sure how well it's gonna bode for the rest of the day, but yeah. Uh, yeah, cotton bomb. Well famous, apparently, and not too bad. So straight across, King's Head. This is like a craft union, me, is a craft union. You know I love a good craft union. So we're on stop 13 of the day, King's Head. Craft Union pubs, and they craft union pubs, craft union prices, craft union friendliness, and that is that's the thing I keep trying to hammer home to people that pubs are built on friendliness and people who want to talk to you and people have a nice time and be nice with each other, and that's it's one of the things that I love the most about all So no handfuls in here at the moment, but I have met Danny. This is Danny. He's going to try and hide, but it's not. This is Danny. He's going to wave. This is Danny. He's a, he's a landlord here. He's a nice chap. Got some sport on. All the way around the pub, you can do darts, you can do it in it. It's craft union prices. I had a Lily's in it, £1.70 for half. Can't knock the prices, can you? And uh, well, you've got the uh, three wickets for £6 there, aren't you, Danny? Yes. See? I mean, if there were more than one of me, I would have had that. And I wasn't so far behind my uh, my time frame for the day. But I've met some lovely people in here again. And it is just, you have to go out. And this is what pubs are built on. Pubs are built on friendliness. And you're not going to find friendlier. There. Yeah. Over to the Green King. I am honestly so far behind my actual schedule. I don't know why I make a schedule, really. I don't know why I try and tell people, oh, I'll be in this pub at this time, because I never was out of that, I don't know. You can tell those, uh, those bombs are starting to get me, I know. No, they're not. It's nice, though. So, right, that is. That's what the market in is. I'm right over. Green King brand, isn't it? I mean, this must have been a hotel, a functioning hotel at some point. So, uh, so John Warren. Green King. Uh, I remember staff being really pleased to see me last time I was there. I can't say they'll say and today. Um, I'm starting to, so the town said, just down there, on the end of my finger, look at the end of my finger, follow the end of my finger, and that's where the town goes. So, so John Warren is up next. I think this is 13 of potentially 26. Oh, guys, I didn't, I'm gonna give up counting now, I think. Right, right so Jack, Jack, this, this. Oh. He was one of the ones I was talking about. He was pleased to see me last time. Look at him, look, he still is, still here. I love it when people are still there sometimes we go. So, cut the pub tables. Shuffleboards, this is. Shuffleboard tables, darts boards. Um, I, I'll be honest, I don't know how to play shuffleboard, so I can't do it. But I mean, they need a beer pong table, don't they? Oh, big old Green King, this though. Lot going on. Lot going on. And as, as you expect with a Green King, you've got a decent enough tap selection on the thing going on and you've got you've got green king ipa of course you have abba ale should be on there somewhere jack where's the abba ale don't do it don't the green king probably don't know abba ale i mean i don't like abba <laughs> and i mean it's nice but uh yeah decent enough how on earth can you be a green king and not do abba ale jack 
I want an explanation and I want it now. He doesn't, he doesn't care, he doesn't care, he doesn't care, no one cares. But yeah, what, a, what a massive great pub. This. Uh, this way, I've never been in the Green King, didn't know about Halo, I think. I think this is the first time, mate. Uh, I've gone with it, it is. Because I'm so far behind. Right, out of the square, down the road. Um, I'm so far behind, I'm going to have to pick the pace up somehow. So, I've shot in here for Hogarth's chain. I quite like the chain, warmed to it. Um, get this done. We've got so much to do down this thing. It's now, it's coming up for quarter to eight. I'm not going to get it done as so I really put the pace up. So, quick shot in here and move on. Hogarth's. I will, I will be This is one of my favourite Hogarth's of, of the, the, the ones I've been in before. This is definitely one of my favourite. I mean, they, they do, this is this is where they fall down, is the, the, the selection of stuff. But they do, they redeem themselves with some of the other stuff. Staff are lovely, and it is. Got a couple of handballs on. Cut the handballs on in here. It's nice, but it's uh, again, it's a nice. They, these these guys, they started as like a gin palace. That's what Hogarth is. It was a gin palace, so that's what it should have been about originally. And still got all the, uh, got a good old selection of everything that goes on. But honestly, the uh, the staff in here, the uh, the young lass that just set me, she's from Luton, and uh, I mean, I grew up or I I lived in Bedford for a little while, just down the road from Luton. That's the way the accent. Because uh, sometimes I can't, I know you lot can't understand me, but sometimes it is, it is all about big old, big old, friendliest, friendly stuff. I had a, a quick tequila rose in here, and we move on. So coming out of there, my next port of call would have been legs, and it is all in darkness, and I'm a little bit worried for it to be honest. I'm going to go over and uh, let's go over and read that board, because uh, yeah, wow. Um, I don't know. Uh, I can't explain why that is shut. Corner Google and Facebook, it should have been open, so legs would have been my next port call, but we'll move on them. Uh, that's quite worrying about legs, to be honest, because I really like it in there. Well, a wine bar, but a really friendly, decent wine bar, and to see it closed, it's only 8 o'clock on a, on a Thursday, worries me slightly, so I'm not overly sure. Um, but it does mean that I've got here, not quite on track, but slightly closer to when I was the crafty one, and this, this was wicked and I'm a do I do mean wicked loved it in here last time really pleased to be back in here so I'm two up but one down it's like an episode of like Homes Under the Hammer isn't it um happy to be back in a crafty one so. oh uh, and plus uh, Ruby that works in the uh, yeah Ruby that works in the Hogarth's yeah from Luton just down the road you know a little bit of home I always like a little bit of home but you know me I, I know I know a sale when I see one no, honestly, there are some stuff, they've got some stuff for saying in here that even I've never heard of or seen. Like, look at some of the vault seats. Sort of. But look at some of these. Like, I have never seen a vault city dragon. I mean, look at the flavours. The offering in here is, it's, honestly, it's, it's almost second to none. Certainly second to none in this area. But just seeing some of them. Clearly, they know what I've had, obviously. Peach and mango we've had. Um, <laughs> Blackcurrant Cur Royale. Probably seen the video with that one a few uh, a few weeks ago. Pineapple, obviously. Faith and sour, I've never noticed. Honestly, Vault City have done some of the uh, the world's best sours. This, well, interesting, is it? Tonka White Forest Gatto. <laughs> Blackcurrant chopped chip waffle as well. Lychee and ginger. See, I was really interested in this as well. To hit your treat until you read. Look at the, look at the small print. Low alcohol. Wee. Probably about that. And the uh, the corner look. Fruit dream cake. Oh. But honestly, some of the selection they've got in here is just mega. And it's a great, it's a great little bar, this. The, uh, the rest of it, dog friendly and stuff as well. You know, games and stuff, you want to sit in here and have another thing. But it's just a, a wicked, wicked little bar, this. Anyway. And you can't even. <laughs> I mean, I can't, you can't even sort of contemplate that, that bigger selection of the stuff that's on there. Because the rest of it. Cut of apples on stuff. If you want to cut of apples, craft lager, bones and bones and uh, it's bones. The lights bad. It's bones and neck all really. Stuff him. It's a uh, it's top place. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's one of my favourite places in Elgiston, and I can't wait to have to drive back over here tomorrow and try some of those bottles of sours. I'm so far behind. Once again, I can't leave a craft beer bar. Without being gifted some beers, kind of, uh, kind of really good Vault City plus a well, a Vault City uh, vocation collaboration here, and a uh, and a, a, a vocation class. So. <sighs> it's a tough life for someone else to do it, but yeah, what a place that is. Honestly, the crafty one. I understand now why I thought it was such a great place last time we came, 
it, it still is. Um, some of the Vault City selection there is just amazing. Prince of Wales, uh, under new ownership since the last time I came. That there, by the way, is the latch lifter. Not open on a Thursday, but proper good live music venue. So Prince of Wales is up next. Latch lifter I can't do tonight. I'm so far behind, but we're gonna motor through these pretty quick now. Here we go, Prince of Wales. So since the last time we came in here, this this was this was a party pub, a, a karaoke party pub, uh, run by fun people. But it didn't necessarily appeal to everybody. Now, run by a lovely, a lovely lass called Charlotte now. Uh, she, she came over from Wales, but let's not hold that against her. It's a dance pub now. Obviously, like, literally, so kids come, they can, they can what here? They can train. Play darts, yeah. Kids, kids can come in and they can play darts and learn, learn to play darts and stuff in here. Think, think next Luke Littler, because I am, because that's what we should all do. But, so, so we've got, no hand pulls on, but decent selection of, Whatever we do, we're in it. Still a second bar. I'm gonna take you through. Jukebox, pool table. Let's go through. Let's go through and have a look. Into the other side of the bar. So if you wanna if you wanna chill out, you want a quiet time, the lounge bar around it is still it's still dead quiet, dead nice and stuff around it. They're lovely people. I I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this pub because I like the layout and I liked the pub beforehand. And I like it now. A, a proper it's not often you find a proper darts pub, is it? Because most pubs are they're like sport pubs or football pubs. This is a darts pub. Michael Van Gerwen's shirt up on the thing. It's the Premier League darts and stuff on here tonight, and they're having a they're having a great time. It's a family affair as well. So Charlotte that runs it, uh, mum's working behind the bar, she's the one who messages and said about it. Um Charlotte's daughter as well works here. Um it's just it's nice. It's a great pub, the Prince of Wales. It really is. A great pub that <laughs> I said, the reason I do, the whole reason we do the revisits to what we do is that we, we can go around and we can see what's changed. But yeah, lovely people, lovely pub. Dead after this. But I am so far behind what I was doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack on really quick now. So. At the back door of the Prince of Wales and along the side street to, I think it would be fair to say this was my favourite pub of Ilkeston last time I was here. And it just is. Burnt Pig, Old Ale House. Proper little micro pub. Does some absolutely banging um, pork pies, sausage rolls, cheeses, things like that. Wicked, wicked, wicked little place this is. So, very pleased to be back here. I was, I, this is probably the one I was most excited about getting back to tonight. Here we are then. Burnt pig old house. And that's what it looks like on the outside. Let's do this. I, I told you I love this pub. I, I love the people around this. I, lo I love this place anyway. It's for Arthur Crafty Sanger, Off Castle Rock. You know me, I love a, I love a local, love a local. Uh, 175 it would have cost me, but he refused to let me pay for it because he's one of the, absolutely refused to let me pay for it. But look at this, somebody, so, yeah, I, I did spend too much, you're right. Now look at some of this that's on in here. The pork pie, remember, this pork pie kept me happy for about three days last time I come in here and took a pork pie and the sausages and stuff as well. But look, look at this, it's just, a, it's a great little, Great little microphone, it just stretches on and on and on. I said, you've got a whole real fire going and stuff like that. It's just a wicked, wicked little place. That it, it, honestly, for a microphone, stretches on and on and on. On something, dog friendly as well. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Ah, that's the most excited anyone's ever been to see me. Uh, I, I, love, I love places like this. And that is, uh, that's, the whole reason that I do what I do is because we go we go around places like this. This is honesty. This was my favourite pub in Ilkeston last time. <laughs> I've got to say, it probably still is. That's really good too. Miss some of these. Look at them. Honestly. Some of the offerings that you've got in here that like, you wouldn't even necessarily notice on the thing. I mean, uh, hey, pina colada. No, no, I've, I've, I've avoided. <laughs> I've avoided the old peanut canals tonight, probably because I haven't got time for someone to make one, but yeah, I'm, I'm on. But yeah, this is, it, it was my favourite pub last time I came to Wilkinson, I think it probably still is. Uh, this and the crafty one, 10 out of 10 pubs, open. I am so running out of time. So, two minute walk from Burnt Pig, which honestly, amazing, absolutely amazing pub. Uh, anybody who likes craft beer, real ales, or just a, just a generally great pub in general should visit. Wonderful, two minute walk, Spanish bar up next. This really shocked me. I'm here because it is deceptive how far this one goes back. And it's just not necessarily what I would have expected it to be. But absolutely banging place, Spanish bar up next. So far behind, I said, I'm coming in Spanish bar. Quick shot of Tequila Rose, because I'm literally, I'm so far behind, it's not even funny. Um, and I'm not gonna get through everything, otherwise, look at this, like, uh, I'll write old thing. This is so deceptive how far it goes back. It's such a lovely looking pub. Nice, nice big room, it's got a really big as well. It's 220. Thank you, 220 for a shot of Tequila Rose. 
Are we done that? Are we in? Let's all drink that together. Seriously, I would love to spend so much more time in here, but I'm not going to get through the rest of what I've got to do tonight if we do that. But the rest of this, so really good choices on a tap. So it's Strata, so I decided so would have been the Strata if I was anywhere like for longer. But really big beer going on the the back. It's crazy the things. I think it's a really, I think it's a really good pub, and just necessary. It wasn't something I ever would have expected to find when we came through the first time. But yeah, great, great pub. Lovely staff, great pub. Oh my god, found there a Spanish bar takes me to Micro Bar. Micro pubs, you know, I love a micro pub. Gladstonian micro. It literally is, it's, it's next door. Uh, <laughs> next door to Spanish Bar, which I said, that's how you said to me. What a great pub that Spanish Bar is. Gladstonian's up next. Oh, you know, I tell you, I, tell you, I wonder in places, and literally they're like, right, have one of these. And I guess, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm trying to catch up, so I don't think. But this is the official Nottingham Forest Supporters Club for Elkiston. And look at this. See, you Reds. You red! You red! So, 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 right, so last time I came in here, I said that it was, it was lovely, but I, it was very, very, very quiet. And the reason I said that was because it, it's a beautiful little bar and I didn't understand why it was so quiet for some. But apparently I missed the crowd by about 10 minutes, did I? Yeah. Yeah. I missed, so it's my fault. I missed the crowd. I missed the crowd. And I broke, I broke their hearts by saying it was quiet. I missed the crowd by 10 minutes. Hey, tonight, lovely bunch of people in. Lovely thing. And what have I got now? What have I got out of this? Beauty and the Beast. All right, here yeah, is, look, this is it. So I've got a Beauty and the Beast. I'm not even gonna, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drink it, but I'm not even gonna ask. Um, down in, down in one, story of my life that is, yeah, down in one, right. Beauty and the Beast, bottoms up. Right, so if I die, Gladstonian bar, Gladstonian bar at the end of Ilkeston, you can, you can come in here, ask them, ask them why I died, and you might find out. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! I quite like that to be fair. That's quite, that's quite nice that. That's quite nice that. Hey, lovely place. Rhea. Rhea. Manager? No. Owner? No, who's the owner? Who's the owner? Me. Owner. Uh, owner. Here we go. Tracy the owner. You're Tracy the owner. owner. Right. So you're upset with me because I called it quiet last time. <laughs> no, I'm not upset. She's not upset with me. She's not upset with me. Jen. Our uh, Jen. I'm the paddy. Hey, 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 he's up, our uh, Jen. He's up, our uh, Jen. I like it. I like, I like meeting you. Know what? I like, I like going out. I like meeting people. Uh, what was that called? Beauty and the Beast. It was tequila rose and Jaeger. Tequila rose and Jaeger. <laughs> I see, I did it for breakfast. I, I do it for breakfast separately normally, but I do it for breakfast. Like, no, honestly, great little micro pub. Just down the end, that Spanish bar is there, great. Great little micro pub down the end. Honestly, give this, give, give Hilkestan a chance in general, but you're honestly coming here. Great little micro pub. Glad I've come back. Well pleased to be back. Hey, here we are. Right, anybody that follows the Facebook page uh, that looks to see what I had to drink, what it cost, what time I got there, I apologize because it's got to that point in the night where I'm running out of time, so I'm trying to hurry through now. So I'm not writing my notes. I'm not remembering why I had to drink or anything. However, the Gladstonian, what a bar. Honestly, they're lovely. I was really, yeah, I don't even know what that shot was, but they are lovely. And that is a wicked little place. Great little micro bar at the end of the end of the town strip. 100% you're going there. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably, I might just go back and stay in there. No, I can't, I've got enough to do. It's already, it's well gone 9.30. And we're running out of time. So, next one is three all shoes just down the bottom of the thing. Before I start working out how quickly I can make it down to the other two, so three all shoes up next. <sighs> this is a tough life, man. Like, I don't think you lot appreciate how difficult this actually is, like, trying to get around everywhere quickly. Because people want to talk to me sometimes. I don't understand why anyone wants to talk to me, but sometimes people want to talk to me. And I get so far behind, and yeah, I'm far behind. Three all shoes next. Plenty of Lily's cider choice and stuff in here, so I've gone for a rhubarb one. I need to slow down on those shots. I love a rhubarb bit. Plenty of good choices on the taps. For the old, uh, the old old vodka selection, uh, Adam, Man Cove bartender, aka. Be happy with this, aren't you, buddy? There, look at this, there. Look. Oh, well, Adam, you get given them for free. Uh, the old, uh, old Thatcher's uh, tree and stuff on. Some, yeah, but this is this is what we were talking about. Oh, the old uh, the old cider selection. You can't you can't go wrong with this cider selection here, can you? Look at these. Good choice. No handles on. Four four options. Um, they've run out tonight apparently, so that's why there aren't any on. 
But decent size. They've got some poker going on up there. Sorry. Uh, a bit of the darts going on, stuff like that. You can so cut the sky sports. You can watch the rugby on here. Put the darts up on the end. It's a great pub, and I remember it being a great pub. I never knew it was great. Second bar for now. I never had last time. Never knew it was second bar. There. Can't uh, can't quibble with that cider selection, can you? No, no right. Right, two minute walk down uh, across the, the the big roundabout from town brings us to the general. I'm going to say Havelock. I'm not sure I you lot. General have a look. Not entirely sure why there is a Lily's cider van sat aside because you know I love a good Lily's. And uh, yeah, the van is sat right aside. So General have a look is probably going to be our penultimate one because I'm probably not going to make the others. So uh, <laughs> I think so. I want to make sure I make it. This is a new one on the crawl. Come on me. I want to make sure I make it to the debut lamp. So. We'll see, we'll see what else we get to do. Jim will have a look up next though. Uh, this was this was closed down last Thursday. I'm so glad it's home. It's bang. Right, yeah. Start on some of the corner, TVs. Decent enough stuff on the thing. Look, some real ales on. We like seeing it. Look, Blue Monkey. You know how much I love you guys, Blue Monkey. Like, I can't wait to get that beer in. Daniel's here. Yeah, here, Daniel. Right, Daniel, how old are you? 23. Daniel's 23 years old. Can I see some proof of that? He's 20, Daniel's 23 years old. He's going he's gonna to show me some proof because he works here and everything, look. He's 20. He is 20. Oh, I've got, now I've got his address. But he is 23 years old. I will scrub that out. Anyway. I'll scrub that. How is he 23 years old? Level of IPA and stuff like that. On, on a, I don't know. Sorry, uh, Paul Saber and stuff. Here. I don't, don't worry, kid. I won't see your identity. No one would believe I was 23. Just like they don't believe you're 23, yeah. So, jukebox. Good booze in this. Like, look at it. Looks like, yeah, this was, this was closed down last time I was in here. Cool. So, Ilko, I just called it Ilko. Um, so I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to have got in here. So this was, it's a shame we'll ever see a pub, especially a pub as good as this, shut down. So yeah, well pleased this is open. So, some good selection and stuff. Very friendly, very friendly service. And I said, Daniel's 23 years old. It's like we've entered a, a different time zone. 23 and friendly. 23 and friendly. 23 and friendly. 23 years old. I'm 37, mate. According to the articles, anyway. Well, that was a walk. Uh, it is downhill, though, to be fair, so I don't object to it too much. So the Davy Lamp is my last pub of the day. I had to bypass the Nealmakers because literally I wanted to get here because I haven't done this one. Done a Nealmakers before, never done this one. So my last pub of the day is the Davy Lamp. Um, this is about to be the star because apparently they're, they're well looking forward to my visit. It's about to be the biggest anti-climax they've ever had in their life, isn't it? So, because I'm really not that impressive. but. Davy Lamp is, I don't even know what number we're on anymore because we've, we've had some that weren't open about extras that I've added. Davy Lamp's the last stop of the night, I know that. My Uber driver's already on his way. But, yeah, finally made it. Um, it's definitely open, so I'm glad I've made it. But, Il I love Ilkeston. Let's do the Davy Lamp, we'll see what it's like in there, and then we'll, we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat before we get in over and go home. So we're getting in, and instantly the staff are trying to kill me. Look at this, like, right, what's your name? This is Megan. Megan's trying to kill me. Look, right, so Megan's already plonked two baby guineas down in front of me. And uh, how much do I owe you for that? I don't owe anything for that, no. Alright, so Megan's trying to kill me, so that's Arthur Cronenberg, and these are two baby guinnesses. I'm going to have to drink them, because otherwise no one's going to believe I did, so here we go. Right. I hate coffee, literally hate coffee. And there is nothing that tastes more like coffee than baby guineas. I mean, Give me half a pot of Guinness for two of them, I'll down them, but this. Well, well, thank you very much. I see them on my face, how much I enjoyed them. Okay. Cheers. Honestly, what a way to finish off my Elkiston tour. I know I didn't make the Neil Makers, I'm not making the Callows. <laughs> you can tell my voice kind of, but it is, it is what it is. Um, I've had a wicked night in Ilkeston again because you can just have a great night in this little town without fear of anything. So people are so friendly, they really are. Megan the barman in there, she's lovely. I said the the guys that run this, they're just superb. Um, and it's nice to it's just nice to see good old fashioned friendly people running good old fashioned friendly boozers because that's what Ilkeston is all about. And I love it. I really do love it. You can have a great night out with Kenilkeston. I mean, bear in mind, it's a Thursday for me. Couldn't get a latch lifter, which is another great live music pub. Is that on Thursdays? So, <sighs> I get it. What a pub. Uh, this, I think, yeah, I think this is my, uh, that's my, uh, to get home. 
So, yeah, what a, what a great pub. What a great town. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. We're off to we're off to Nun Eaton tomorrow. Never been to Nun Eaton in my life. Um, so we'll go from there. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks a lot.